Are you familiar with the Beyond Touch? I am not, but um, I think I have something better. Hi, I'm John for Proper Printing. And in my first video I created the quick tool change. Some people have suggested to put a, a build touch to it so it's easier to, uh, to home. But the problem is um, if you swap out a tool then the height of the nozzle can differ between the tools. So if you swap out your tool then you, well, then you must adjust it see, uh, see how in position. I have used the Z2. I've linked to that step two this one i've mentioned that earlier in one of my videos it's a lot of work homing the z-axis uh, once you have, have swapped out another hot end so some people suggest suggested to use a peel touch like this one yeah a build touch isn't cheap uh, add a build touch to all of the tools and you have four tools then um, yeah you have to dig a bit deeper in your pocket i spontaneously came up with different ID which I think works better in this uh, scenario yeah that's what I'm going to talk about in this video what I came up with I still have to make it I have no idea if it works the idea is to use a normal end stop if you have an old NET AA printer you can just uh, rip it off from that printer because it's a useless printer so now I have an NET uh, A8 without the uh, X, uh, X homing switch, but yeah, who cares. The idea is to mount a switch in here and um, yeah, put a homing switch into the quick tool change mount. If it goes down and the tool hits the build surface, then the gantry will push it further down and um, well, switching the switch. That's the idea. So in theory I can just uh, put any build plate of any thickness inside the printer with any tool and it will just uh, home like this and then we can start printing without even thinking any f further. This is basically, well it's quite similar to this one and I've made it a bit wider and in between uh, these two slots I add two springs and yeah, I have made room for a micro switch and that's basically it. Yeah, let's mount this together. For the springs, I just use regular ballpoint springs. I think these are pretty standard. Yeah. yeah. I can insert these springs in here. I've made two holes here, which you can use to uh, put something in and uh, hold these springs back otherwise it's uh, a bit tough to get those in maybe I need a different tool for this but okay. and I'm going to grab my N3 The normal Z-limit switch is placed here. I'm not going to remove it. I'm going to use that C-stop as a fallback option. If I'm going to home and I forget to insert a tool or I use a laser cutter, then it will not touch the build plate. So this is the fallback, so it always homes. I'm going to do that by just well, soldering two extra wires from here to that switch so it's whichever comes first will be my uh, Xiaomi switch
Um, like it is now, I cannot just connect this in parallel to that one. Always one of them is closed. I'll find out if it can be changed in the firmware because I think I have to modify the firmware. Okay, I just have found out in the Marlin firmware that there is a setting which is called C inverting which means that it triggers on the normally closed but I want it normally open so one of these can trigger them and what I've done is I have added two wires to this connector and these two wires are connected to this switch and a switch has, uh, it has three connections one is the common, the normally open and the normally closed by default the M3 and most printers are um, connected through normally closed uh, I have to change this a bit uh, this wire here in the center uh, it was here at the most left but right now if I'm going to connect this and I will turn on the printer then the printer thinks it's already at the homing position forever and that's something we do not want uh, but I'm going to add this to the printer and if I've done that then we will head to my computer uh, and add a modified firmware I'm going to reprint that with uh, nylon. As we speak, the CR10 is printing. What we are going to do is upgrade the firmware of the NF3. I will put a link into the description of how you can upgrade the firmware and install a bootloader using the Arduino. One of my earlier projects was this uh, camera slider and I had an Arduino on top of it. So you need an Arduino to use it as an ISP programmer and connect it to your main board flash a bootloader using well, the Arduino IDE and after that you can just connect your printer oh, you can just connect the printer to your computer and flash the firmware what I will explain are the specific settings used for getting this homing method to work one is the problem of the, um, the normally open and normally close signal we have to invert the, the Z homing uh, switch and the other thing is I'm going to enable uh, safe Z homing and that's needed because well if this is your build plate and your uh, nozzle moves into well for your frame of reference the nozzle will move to here X Y I don't know X and Y and it will go down Z, uh, it's landing over the edge of your build plate and it will go down until it crashes. What safe Z homing does is it goes into the center of the build plate and then it will home the Z on that direction. I have downloaded the latest Marlin firmware and you go to example configurations, the end of three, select all, copy and paste it in here, Marlin, and you will replace all files if I open the ino file marlin.ino um, and yeah we have to do two two settings and the first is the safe Z homing I will zoom in a bit so you can see it a bit better find safe I will hit find until I get to this use C safe homing to avoid homing with the Z probe outside outside the bed area so I will enable this, this feature by just removing yes, by removing these two slashes. That's basically it. So that's about the Z-homing. And the other thing is about the end stop. So I will search for invert. And here we have the list of inverting all the inputs. And what we want to do is the Z minus end stop inverting and set this value to true. 
like that. I just found out that I have made a minor design flaw in my enclosure in order to get to my, uh, to my main board. There it is. Here's my Arduino on a stick. I should be able to home it and I have my finger at the off switch to make sure that uh, I can turn it off immediately if it doesn't go well. And it didn't go well. Hmm. Back to the drawing board. I've made this thing a bit wider. And now the homing switch isn't. Ah. Uh. Okay. I've quickly removed a small gap here. So now. <laughs> okay, we're back at the computer. There's still one thing that I have to change. Uh, once the uh, Z-axis has homed, then I have to give it an offset. And setting the Z-offset was a thing that wasn't in my menu. So I have to search for uh, fix underscore mounted in the configuration.h remove these two slashes so i do define the fix mount pro and that will enable that setting in the menu this one has to be true as well cmin probe and stop inverting uploading done uploading I'll get another tool and see if that will hold. <laughs> if I'm going to move it down a bit, one millimeter, then you can see that it's a bit tilting. The other way, this way. So I still have to find something to make this a bit more stable. As with all of my projects, I'm, I don't know if it works uh, when I'm starting the video. So that's always the question. And I think the method works. I've proven that I can home with different hot ends and... Yep, but the design sucks. So I've made a redesign. This is based on the original quick tool change and as you can see it uses these three rolls 
and these are the same rolls that I've used in a previous video in which I show how I make a drawing uh, machine out of my Creality CR10 printer. That's uh, this pen holder. There's room here for the micro switch and here on the other side there's some room for this the spring. So if I'm going to hide this, you can see the spring is placed in here. Um, the only drawback is that I had to change the tool holder itself because I have to make some room for these rolls here and here at the bottom. As we speak this design is printed out and after that's finished I'm going to add it to my Ender 3. So if you have made it all the way to here then thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you, you hang on for another minute because I'm going to add this to my Ender 3 and see if that works. If you want to see more of these kind of projects then consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'm very happy that I can use this platform to uh, to share all the ideas I have. I can't wait to add this thing to my printer. Mm -mm 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 -mm.